My name is uh, Asterios Yayos. I work for Hellenic Petroleum Group of Companies, which is a subsidiary of Hellenic Energy Group of Companies. My name is Evangelos Moraitis, and I work in uh, the robotics. Uh, we do tank inspections, pipe rack inspections, flare stack inspections. So the traditional way. The traditional way is either scaffolding or using a crane with a basket in order to physically approach the equipment that you want to inspect. In the uh, late few years, uh, we've been uh, also working with confined space drones for uh, visual monitoring, visual inspection, uh, and as well as thickness measurements, which is quite new for the industry. I believe it's going to be a major game changer and a very important tool. Using a drone is inherently safe while when compared to uh, working at height or entering a confined space. If I could guess the risk, it would be an order or two orders of magnitude less. So we've been experimenting with drones on pipe racks, meaning elevated pipelines that are not easily accessible. And uh, it's much easier to use a drone for at least a spot inspection of this kind of uh, pipelines compared to scaffolding them, which is costly and time consuming. With a drone, the storage tank inspection is faster because you, you don't have to build a scaffolding in all the tank or to use ropers. That means they have to climb about 40, 50 meters high. You save time, you save time and reduce the cost. We don't know the prices, but uh, a quick approach is that there is uh, one third uh, cheaper than the traditional methods, at least one third. The speed is uh, sometimes uh, one to five. We have done uh, a couple of uh, FCC inspections. FCC is an extremely ch challenging uh, environment. It's total uh, dark. In this, uh, it's very difficult for a person to go inside and inspect it. But with Ilios, uh, we managed to do the inspection in uh, one and a half hour. There's no comparison on the time and safety. Our experience is that it is a tool uh, with great potential because both in terms of cost, time and safety, these are always interrelated. Confined space drone or a drone in general can go where people can't easily go or you don't want them to go and uh, you can save on, for example, scaffolding or crane expenses, lifting uh, equipment. At the same time, reduce your risk on humans and reduce the cost. I mean, it's a win-win situation using drones.